Hey guys, welcome. I'm here with Kelly Clarkson. Now, can I just say first off, congratulations on writing an amazing or having an amazing album. Thank you. Thank you very much. This rocks. I was um, at home last night and every night I'm usually listening to some sort of rock song like Metallica or Guns N' Roses doing the yeah. cooking and I'm listening to your album. My housemate just comes home and goes, what is this? This is really cool. And I'm like, is this oh, Kelly Clarkson? Cool. And she was cool. like, that's awesome. Oh, right on. Are yeah, you proud? there's a lot of, it's pretty eclectic, so. There's like a little bit of like pop rock. There's the one punk song that's very left field for me, but I had fun singing it. Sing it like 70 times in a row just to sing it in the studio. Yeah. So yeah, no, then there's there's a lot of stuff. There's like some crazy ballads and some sweet ones. So. What, what's your favorite song off the album? Um, honestly, Ready. Um, and it, that changes daily, but I was listening to the album this morning because we were going through, we're making my set list for my tour right now. And yeah. I was kind of, it's once you have four albums, like the more albums you get, it's kind of hard to make your set list because you can really only fit like 22 songs at most and then people are like, I want to go home. So I doubt it. Yeah. I doubt your fans No, they would, they home. would. You get tired of standing or just being there. So it's like, it's kind of hard to kind of pick which songs, but Ready is like probably one of my favorites off the album. Which okay. is kind of depressing. <laughs> Because it's a depressing song. But, <laughs> but, yeah, th but even when they're depressing songs, when the, the theme, I suppose, is is a depressing kind of nature, the song is never depressing. The song's always like, yeah, get up and do it. Like, yeah. it has that feeling well, about it, which I love. I know. I love the um, inspiration behind, even if something's bad, it's like trying to turn it around and at least be like, okay, I'm supposed to learn something from this, right? So, I don't know. Yeah, totally. Now, I don't know, hook up. Um, how did it come about that, you know, I know that you've been a fan of Katy Perry's. How did yeah. it come out that you Well, can... actually, I picked the song before she even blew up. So, okay. yeah, it was wow. actually, I met her like um, two and a half years ago, randomly at one of my shows. She was introduced to me as a singer songwriter and very, very cool girl. And um, anyway, uh, I went to publishing meetings like, I guess a year, year and a half ago. I'm really bad with time. Whenever we started looking <laughs> for songs. And uh, I'd written a bunch for the album, but I was also wondering what was kind of out there. And one of the publishing meetings that I went to, um, I said, you know what, I don't want to hear the best songwriters necessarily. I want the best songs, like even if they've never written on stuff or yeah. nobody's done their stuff. like. And she ended up showing me um, two girls. Um, I learned one was uh, Carrie Noble, who wrote um, the last song on the album, if no one will listen. And then the other yeah. one was Katy Perry. And she had written with Cara Diaguardi, who I love writing with. She's so blunt and passionate. It's awesome. And anyway, so um, she hadn't really blown up yet. And I, I loved the style of writing. It was very quirky. And um, I, I don't know. It was very cool. Cool. Now, you're a Texas girl. Yeah. Do you still live in Texas? I or? do. Because you, uh, you know, most people would have kind of gone to LA or New York or, you know, what? Um, you in Texas? I think, I mean, wherever you grow up, like I grew up like out in the country, so it's like I love, like there's something very peaceful for me, like a lot of land and just being able to walk outside and not have traffic or a lot of people. Yeah. So, um, I don't know, I guess I grew up in it, so it's like my, my thing. And when I'm in LA, like there are aspects that I love about LA. They have great restaurants, first of all. They have great yeah. clubs. Usually there's great music going on. Um, same with New York, but... Um, it's that thing where I can only visit places like that for tops four days, and I'm done. So. Yes, yeah, same. It's like going from oh, Australia. I feel claustrophobic. Or it's so relaxed. Yeah. <laughs> it's over there. It's like whoa. I know that's one thing I've been telling people all day. Like, um, you know, it's Aussies are very similar to Texans. Like that's why whenever <laughs> I come here, it's. And I mean, we'd sound differently and and appear differently, but <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Because we love food. But, um, <laughs> but we're, we're definitely the same as in like laid back and like, um, I don't know, y'all like the draw thing going, like, you know, you carry out the word. It's like not really that it's, long, but you make it that yeah. long. That's how we are. Is Texas so. beautiful? Because I always wanted to go and then it's I awesome. saw Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh my God! And that, is that set back tourism or something? No! I, that I don't movie think it's a true scary. story. I don't, it's not. I, yeah, I think but, it's like the whole thing they made up. Like, that's why no one wants to go to West Virginia because of deliverance. So, yeah. <laughs> like me, I know. Ever want to go there because <laughs> but I'm just kidding West Virginia um, anyway it's like one of those things like it's it's so like spread out and wide and flat which sounds boring but it's, it makes feel like beautiful sunsets beautiful sunrises like it's they're immaculate that's why everything you know bigger in Texas everybody says stuff like that like it's yeah it's just a beautiful place it's awesome well, maybe I'll maybe I'll go now yeah. last question I, I just want to know about your tats I just yeah, uh, I have I knew you had a few, and now I found out you've got nine tattoos. You're making me want to be braver. I'm slightly going to get, get braver. Well, I've, I go. I've only got uh, 14, so I'm not that more. Well, you're one. <laughs> that counts. That <laughs> does count for one. Yeah. I was like, your one counts like way more than mine. So, what's <laughs> so on the back? I've got. What's that one? I've got boxing gloves as well. Nice. See, whoever did them are very nice, even the shading and everything. Yeah. That's my fear if I get a big one, that the guy like is not going to do it very well. And then it's like on your body forever. Yeah. Like I, I want it to be like a really awesome artist. Do you have a favorite? What's your favorite? My favorite is Hanky Panky in uh, Amsterdam. 
oh, he cute. did this, yeah. and it's like a sunflower. And, it, and if you notice, like it's shading, like it's light over here and dark over here because sunflowers follow the sun. Oh. So yeah, so if I'd get a big one from him, yeah. I'd do that. From and what him. would you get? What do you think? If you could get your arm covered in something, what would you? Kind I don't of... know, and that's my thing too. I'm like, once I have my mind set on it, I automatically go get the tattoo because yeah. I can't get out of my head. Yeah, but, they're so um, addictive. They're Kids addictive. at home. Don't get a tattoo. If you don't want nine, don't get one. Because so, <laughs> you're going to end up with nine. Awesome. Right. Well, thank you so much for the chat. I think yeah, you're amazing. You. And, um, and I love the album. So you have to go and grab the album. Thank you very much.